Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, as we are talking about some of the problems that can plague users of Windows with uh, this time with Wi-Fi once again one of the things that can happen is problems connecting to networks you do changes you get an update suddenly for some reason it just doesn't want to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi network what you could do first is of course unplug your router or your modem and, and the device that actually sends the Wi-Fi to your computer for 30 seconds to a minute and then plug it back in wait until everything's back to normal and see if it actually works because sometimes it could be the router itself it could be the device that's a little messed up and uh, doesn't connect well but if it still doesn't work one of the things that you could also try is to remove the driver and have it uh, reinstall automatically again and the way that happens or works is you simply right click on the start menu go into the device manager in here you will see that there's of course network adapters open this every network adapter that you have will be there now the one that I have which is the wireless adapter this is the one you want to remove is um, of course on Wi-Fi and if you don't know what to do to remove here one of the things you can do if you don't have internet anyways is remove everything under network adapters by right-clicking the drivers and uh, uninstall device from here and if you don't know what to which one it, it is and under network adapters it doesn't matter you can actually remove all of this one of the good things also about this is that it resets a lot of the basic uh, network uh, properties which means that once you do that often you will have it kind of start from scratch when connecting to Wi-Fi networks because sometimes the profiles are messed up and this might fix that absolutely so you do this and once that is done what you could do is either restart your PC or you can go into the uh, actions on the top of the device manager window and click uh, scan for hardware changes this will actually force the computer to reinstall all of its drivers that it had for the network adapters. Once that is done, it's always a good idea to kind of restart your PC and then try to connect again to the Wi-Fi network. This trick, as a tech guy, I would tell you, fixes a big majority of problems with uh, connectivity of the Internet and Wi-Fi in general. Even if the problem you have is with a connected Ethernet cable, doing this sometimes actually does help and kind of resets things to zero in the profiles and in the network uh, settings and often has fixes everything. So it's, you know, if it doesn't work, if you don't have internet, you got nothing to lose to try this and reinstall the network drivers. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.